Well, folks, we got a lot of disasters at our hands. We got a lot of bimbos going around. We got a lot of bozos. Drama comes up because coming in at our number 12 spot, our first story is about Hogwarts Legacy Dev Avalanche. They revealed the fact that during IGN FanFest, uh, and you obviously know you cannot say ignorant without saying IGN. So IGN FanFest during that, the studio just confirmed the fact that there are no current plans to release additional content for their visiting uh, world of RPG. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. And a lot of people want that Quidditch DLC, a lot of people want that multiplayer, that co-op. Drop a thumbs up if you want that, but looks like that we ain't getting that cut, G. But check this out, guys, at our number 11. YouTube CEO Susan Evans is stepping down. And now apparently the next chief product officer is none other than Neil Mohan. So, ladies and gentlemen, say goodbye, okay? Because Neil Mohan apparently loves NFT. <gasps> Neil Mohan has been with Google for years and years and he says that thank you Susan It's been amazing to work with you over the years you built YouTube into an extraordinary hope That's debatable, okay? <laughs> but surely there is no competitor to YouTube. So these are kind of facts I want to know your thoughts on it But guys for this story you might want to hide your wives You might want to put your kids to beds because check this out a school suspended a child because his mother has an OnlyFans account that has a not safe for work account and I gotta be honest man that rod do be looking kind of good and listen fellas I wish nobody okay I wish not even my worst enemy to have a bimbo mom that has an OnlyFans account okay I don't wish anybody to have a bimbo mom like that uh, his teachers be like homies out there juicing the situation everyone at that school uh, we, we also have the principal watching out here the homies be vibing right there and uh, I mean the situation man says W school on <laughs> That is not a W, okay? It's not a W for that kid. Or technically, it's kind of like a W because now he's gonna get like some off days, right? Bruh. So he can be at home like playing some Sony Pony, some uh, Xbox games, uh, some like that. But guys, like, come on, man. That's uh, like, I wish nobody having like a bimbo mom like that, bruh. Like, uh, that is sad for that kid, guys. Definitely smash a like button to send over some of your social credit points to that hero out there, to that young hero, because he definitely needs your prayers, guys. But if you thought that was shocking, well, get ready for this one. Buckles, Andrew Tate Hustler University reportedly placed a bounty on canceling YouTuber KSI after he supported Tate's ban from social media. <gasps> Apparently, the situation here is that right after KSI said that, that thank God Andrew Tate got banned, he said some stuff like that. But right after he said that over on Twitter, the Hustle University, the top G, mate, the top G, the top G, the Hustle University members, they went in ganging style and they placed a bounty on KSI. They started saying that, bro, like, we gotta cancel, we gotta come together as one and we gotta cancel the, the YouTuber KSI. And apparently, Vice broke the news and Vice was behind manipulating the documentary for Andrew Tate and you gotta understand that this is not what Andrew Tate was doing this is what the Hustle University members were trying to do or maybe he had involvement I'm not sure but by the looks of it he did not KSI has responded to the reports by saying in no way five penta penta laughing emojis Bruh. also shout out to the homie Ellie for adding me in the situation I wanna uh, what's kick where I where I'm, where I'm streaming I'm not I'm not hundred percent going to kick by the way bro like they, they really like they make tweets at me and shit <laughs> Actually, W kicked because their tweets are actually kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. It's like that little humor. Like, it's funny. But I need more money. You guys are not offering me enough money to go full time. It's the truth. What? I need more money, bro. Bruh. I need more money. I'm literally moving full time to you. I need more money. It's facts. And quickly after Kid came out and they started threatening that they're they're gonna ban him, obviously that's like a sarcastic joke. But then Opera GX says that bro thinks he's a ninja. Bro thinks he's better than Chrome. Oh! <laughs> But however, Ubisoft, Ubi Snooze, Ubi Caps came out says that if E3 happens, because right now a lot of people are suspect, right? Because E3 recently came up, they confirmed that's gonna happen, but Xbox got their budget cut. That's kind of like the rumor, and the rumor is saying that Xbox is not gonna be at E3 because they cut their budget. I mean, damn, bro, Microsoft is a trillion dollar company. They recently bought Activision, although the deal might not go through. We're gonna talk about that in just a little bit. But the situation here is that they paid 70 billion to get Activision. Activision and you're telling me that they, they don't have a budget to be at E3 I just cannot even compute that Sony is obviously not gonna be there But they say if E3 happens we will be there and we will have a lot of things to show and quickly after a lot of people I shout out to the homie Ellie for adding me in the situation Me when they were 
revealed their 570th Far Cry 3 clone. Ubisoft is not a good motivator to watch E3. It is a good motivator to avoid E3. No. You be still thinking it's 2008. Yeah, you be saw. We know, we know. We're gonna be getting ready to see the microtransaction. We're gonna get ready to see the mobile games, and we're gonna be ready to see those unfinished games. But for this following story, ladies and gentlemen, you might wanna sit down if you're a Sony pony, please. Okay, for the love of everything, okay, do not start doing helicopters around. If you're an Xbox, guys, I'm gonna give you this warning real quick. Okay, don't be going into coma. Okay, you might wanna sit down, Kaji, because apparently the homie Destin has been uh, covering the story pretty hard uh, and. A Essentially, the story here is that Tom Warren came out. He says that there are rumors flying around about Sony execs meeting with Microsoft recently to discuss Call of Duty. It's based on private jet data showing. I mean, damn, okay, like that story is so wild that we're apparently now hearing that 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 that, that Sony CEO Jim Ryan he took the Sony Pony Airlines. He went down to Seattle. He went down to obviously we heard that he went down to Brussels in the past and he told the the UK CME that hey, we we need that Call of Duty. Duty, man. You should not let that Call of Duty go to Xbox and he actually told UKCMA and now UKCMA actually blocked the deal. I made a dedicated video which I will link you and I will link you that at the end so definitely check that out. But guys, it's bigger, it's deeper than that, Kaji. So essentially, we're hitting the second one source tells me that Sony Corporate Jet made a visit to Seattle last week for the first time in 18 months. It suggests that the two firms are meeting to come to a resolution. In early September last year, Microsoft had flown out to Japan to offer a license extension for Call of Duty for five years. But however, Sony, I'm told, didn't even take the meeting and thereby rejected this initial offer. Oh, it instead asked for a license in perpetuity, uh, perp uh, perpetuity, we're gonna Google that. Perpetuity. Perpetuity Bruh. with this alleged recent visit. However, the publicly cold relationship appears to be towing, okay? That's what they said out here. And this story is just so wild and it's getting so out of hands. Essentially, the UK CMA has offered three different solutions, which I have covered like two, uh, two billion times already on the channel. I will link you that video at the end if you wanna dive into that, but essentially the deal got blocked. And Microsoft now only has three options uh, to get Call of Duty. If they want to get Call of Duty, they got to put that in writing that they will never make Call of Duty exclusive. Uh, not even after 10 years because Microsoft is offering 10 years right now. But even after that, they can never, they can never make Call of Duty exclusive. They can never keep it to themselves. And essentially, now they have their last chance kind of, right? I mean, we all uh, we always have been hearing about these last chances. We always uh, see them push the date forward. They're like, okay, come here. We're going to talk. We're going to discuss and they always like to give just one more chance one last hearing right and we're gonna be having another one of those hearing on february 21st where microsoft is gonna be defending activision deal to eu so they're probably gonna get down to their knees and they're probably gonna plead uh and uh let's see what happens then and if the deal doesn't go through they will surely be buying someone else and let me tell you man take two and ea is looking like a snack especially take two with that gta 6 that's certainly looking like a snack although uh, if they end up buying take two i I don't think GTA 6 will ever be exclusive to PlayStation or Xbox, but they can certainly make it timed exclusive or have some exclusive content because if they try to make GTA 6 exclusive, my guy, we're gonna be having the UK CMA knocking on their door. They, they wouldn't let them do helicopters with their Woolies, Kaji. Also, PlayStation 5 shortage is over. I mean, damn, we got all of these Sony Pony games coming. We're hearing about Insomnia games, Wolverine, obviously that's confirmed. Stellar Blade, Knights of the Old Republic remake. We got Final Fantasy, Rise of the Ronin, Silent Hill, 2 remake, Final Fantasy, Horizon 2 Forbidden Shore, Spider-Man 2, and I gotta be honest, man, like, uh, hey, I gotta be honest, man, these, uh, three lights that we got, they are very good, right? Like, kinda small, but my eyesight is still kinda working, so I can see that from distance, guys. But guys, you're probably gonna believe this story, because we all saw this coming. Essentially, check this out, Saints Row reportedly cost over $100 million to make. Yo, can a brother get, like, two pennies or something? like that since the game sales bombed embracer group is now being more selective with games it greenlits i mean damn bro saints row is one of their massive ip it's one of their beloved ip in fact even i was excited for the game i was like this game is gonna carry us till gta 6 and it couldn't even carry us till gta 6 trailer game <laughs>
the franchise Saints Row is not the problem. The problem is that y'all got too many bimbos working at your studio. Y'all got too many bozos working at your studio that don't even know how to make a game. You essentially took your biggest IP, your beloved franchise. You made that, you remade that, but you half-assed that, you dropped that game, and you wonder why the sales bombed. I mean, we had a couple of baddies, but we also had a lot of bimbos making that. I deleted the game after a week because it was full of bugs and everything was laggy. Millennial power! They released a bug game, what the heck? <laughs> we, got, we got homies laughing out here with the 100 million, and also shout out to the homie Ellie for having me in this situation. PSVR 2 is getting high praises after reading some reviews of it, and essentially what we're hearing is that it got control that feels incredible uh, premium experience with sharp graphics it is very accurate the, it got cinematic mode it got great performance and it also talks about the price point bro last time i checked it was like what 550 us dollars that's more than a console okay it's more expensive than a console but surely i have played with the with a psvr back in like 2017 and i did kind of enjoy it though like i'll, I'll keep a buck 50 but however it cannot play psvr1 games what the f and the, yeah, the homie Okami says, that, sadly, no, you're wrong. I actually think the price is fair, but I can justify dropping that money. The price is fair and you're telling me that you cannot justify dropping that? That means the price is not fair. That's essentially what it means. If you think the price is fair, but, but you cannot justify dropping that, that means it's not priced appropriately. That's what it means, but uh, homie's kind of delusional out here. But the homie Pyro's like, I feel you, 800 euros for me. I mean, damn, son. They want my kidneys here for this one. But in the gaming industry, we also have another rumor that says a Metro Exodus sequel is well into development at A4 Games. Uh, my bad, 4A Games, and it is already fully playable. Reveal could be later this year with a tentative release date in 2024. Yo, that's when we're gonna get GTA 6. But they are removing it, guys. We got a massive bombshell with this deal blocking news. Click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left if you want to know what Take-Two recently said about GTA 6. Check these videos out, guys, and I will see you right there.